All right, so we've learned how to enter data in STAT, right, STAT edit, and how to make a quick scatter plot. Beautiful. And now there's more. Okay, so, and I just wanted to mention to you all that there are steps for these instructions um, in the notes, for example, how to draw a scatter diagram. They're just not as complete. They don't go into as many things like how to fix it if you delete a column and all that stuff. That's not in there. That's all in my videos, see? So um, there are some, some quick instructions there. All right, so the next thing we need to know how to do is how to find the linear regression line, um, which basically you need these kind of instructions through the whole course. So now let's not forget we still have the smokeless tobacco data, right? We've got our scatter plot right here. So how do we get the line, right? There is a line, you can kind of see it, right? That, that would come close to these points. It doesn't really go through them necessarily, it just comes close, it averages them out. Um, more on that in a statistics course if you take one. So you take, press stat, and you go to the right. You want the calculate menu, C-A-L-C. So you go to the right to calculate, and you want to pick number four, linear regression. And if you just press enter, it'll find it. There it is. Okay. It takes L1 and L2 by default. So if you put your data in L3 and L4, it won't find it. Um, it, it won't know what you want. So it found the equation of the line. So the equation of our line is y equals negative 1.19x plus 35.11. Or if you want to put it in terms of the variables they give, um, it would be, let's see here. Uh, let's see, I think it was f of t equals negative 1.19t plus 35.11, if you were going to write it. Ta-da! There you go. That's the line of best fit. But wait, there's more. So you can make your calculator store it for you. Like, let's say you want to see this graph on this menu. Watch. It's a thing of beauty. So let's do it again. Let me clear this so you can see it again. Stat, move right, pick number four. Now don't press enter yet, just wait. Press variables, V-A-R-S, see right there? Variables. We want a Y variable, so go to the right to Y variables. Pick number one. We're always working in functions in 131. Um, parametric and polar are stuff that's for calculus and pre-calculus and stuff. We're not doing that. So pick number one, and then pick whichever one you like. You can pick one, two, three, four. Now you don't have to do this step, but it's kind of fun, right? So it's going to do the linear regression, and it's going to store the answer in Y1 for you. So it's waiting for you to tell it to do it. So you got to tell it to run this. You press enter, and it runs it. Now it doesn't look any different, right? It seems like the same. But if I go to Y equals, look right there it has the equation of the line stored for me. So if I press graph, there it is. It's graphing it. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Alana, what the heck is up with this x minus 4? Well, notice the x minus 4 isn't on. See how the equations, equal signs, not dark? We learned how to do that in a previous tutorial. I mean, I could press enter on it and then make it dark, but I don't really want this line at all, so I'm going to press clear and make it go away. There you go. There's the equation. Now let me show you one more thing real quick. Suppose I had had it in the data in L3 or something like that, or L1. So I need to tell it, you don't have to do this if it's in L1, L2. If it's in L1, L2, you can avoid all this. But if it is not in L1, L2, you have to do this step. You have to tell it second L1. That's where my X is, comma. Second, now you got to tell it where your Y is. For me, it's L2. Now, if you did it L3, L4, you'd have to tell it L3, comma, L4. Whatever your columns are, that's what you tell it. And then variables, Y variables, function, number one. Okay, so it's going to look L1 for my X, L2 for my Y. It's going to store it in Y1. You don't have to do this step. Um, it's just if your data is not in L1, L2, you'd, you would have to. Press Enter, and there you go. Same stuff. It looks the same, but it's stored in y equals for you. Alright, cool. That's how to find a linear regression line. I hope you enjoyed it.